Hi guys, today I thought I would show you what I have in my daily makeup bag. So I don't use makeup every single day, but when I film videos I do like enhancing my features a little bit because camera tends to wash out faces. So if I go on a trip or if I'm going out for dinner or something, then I would use these products. And I have a bit more makeup in my drawer, but this is just like a permanent bag full of my everyday makeup. You could also say this is my holy grail makeup products because I love them all to bits and to be honest this is all I could have and I would be perfectly happy. Alright so let's try to open this thing and it's just a simple fabric makeup bag I got with one of my 100% pure products. When they were still sending parcels to Spain, I have no idea why they stopped sending things to Spain and I'm so sad about it because it was my favorite brand and I can't buy anything from them, it's just sad. So I have a mirror, which is actually a broken mirror and it comes from England, it's super super old and it's a magnifying mirror and that's why I like it so much. There used to be a magnifying mirror and then a regular mirror, the regular mirror just broke off and to be honest it doesn't really matter because all I like using is the magnifying mirror. And then I have little cute bag with a little Sappho foundation and I don't really use foundation pretty much ever um, because I'm pretty happy with my skin the way it is now so I don't really need it but when I do occasionally if I'm having a really bad skin a day or something then I try these testers and honestly you don't need much of them because they are really pigmented and really good quality foundation so if you're looking for a natural foundation I would highly recommend the Sappho organics foundation because I think it's cool and if you're wondering which color is my color it's skate I love the smell I love the coverage I love how it doesn't dry my skin out and the ingredients are completely natural and actually really beneficial for your skin too so definitely try it out if you haven't the only thing is that they are quite expensive I think they're around fifty dollars which is a lot but if you don't use a lot of foundation I think it would be a good investment anyway then the next thing I have in there is my 100% pure fruit pigmented lip butter. It looks like this and I love it. It's my favorite, one of my most favorite lip butters and it actually gives a really nice kind of fruity um, berry like tint. It looks like this. It smells very gentle, it feels good on the lips and you can actually build it up and give a lot of uh, color if you want as well. So it's a great product. The next thing I have is also a lip product and it's a lipstick from Lily Lola. It's my favorite lipstick and pretty much the only lipstick I have and actually use. And it's in the color called Intense Crush. I absolutely love this color and I'm actually wearing it on my lips right now. I hope that it's still on. I hope you can still see it. It looks like this. It's very natural. It's kind of peachy, kind of pinkish peachy at the same time. It's very creamy, it's very moisturizing, it's not drying at all, and it stays for quite a while. So I really love Lil' Lola lipsticks. The next thing I have, coincidence, is that it's another lip color. And it's the Hemp Organics Organic Lip Tint in Berry. This is actually one of my September favorites that I'm going to mention in the September favorites video. And it's really, really, really nice on the lips. It looks really nice. It has a really nice color payoff. This is beautiful berry color and I was actually wearing it in a lot of videos recently. It's definitely my go-to lip product. And the cool thing is that you can just apply it without any mirror because it's, it's quite sheer but then it has a lot of color at the same time. It's easy to apply and very affordable. I got it from iHerb. Next thing is another Lily Lola makeup product. And Lily Lola has become my number one makeup product since I lost the ability to order anything from 100% pure so this one is an eye primer and I don't use it every single time but if I'm using eyeshadows if I want my makeup to last longer for a video or a special day out or something then I use it and it looks like this it has two colors one is for the under eyes and the other color the yellow is for the under eyes to conceal the darkness and the other one is for the lids to make sure that the, the eye color sticks and to neutralize any kind of darkness on the lids. I really like it, it works super well, it's really affordable and I definitely recommend it. Next thing I have in the bag is an eyeliner, a liquid eyeliner from a brand called Aiko. I guess that's how you say it, correct me if I'm wrong. 
I didn't actually buy this one. And it's a skinny one, by the way. I didn't buy this one uh, when I was in Birmingham because I missed my flight back to Tenerife in June. I had a layover in Birmingham for a night. I got some UK magazines because I missed them and I wanted to read them. And one of them had this eyeliner for free. And I wouldn't have bought it if I had to buy it because it's not natural. But as it was with a, with a magazine, I decided to try it out and I actually really like it. So I do use it from time to time, but I'm so rubbish at using the liquid eyeliner that usually I just reach for my pencil because it's just easier for me. The next thing I have in there is a concealer. And as I said, I don't use my foundation often, but what I use is just this. I just use it under the eyes and on any kind of spots I might have or scars. And that's pretty much it. And it's definitely my favorite concealer at the moment. And it's 100% pure. What is this concealer called? I'm not even sure, but I'll put it down in the description box. And it's in the color Peach Bisque. And it's a little bit too light for me. I think I'll need, I need the next one up, which I think is Gold Bisque or something like that. But it's a great concealer. I love it, especially under the eyes. It looks really good. It's really creamy. It's not too big, so it's not going to last too long, but I would absolutely buy it again. The only thing is, I can't. The next product I have in there is an eyeshadow palette. And again, it's from Lil Lolo, and it's called Smoke and Mirrors Eye Palette. I got it last year at Christmas, because there was a set of a few different products for a really good price, including that, lis that lipstick. I'm super happy with it. It has some shimmery colors and some matte colors. It looks like this. They're very natural colors, but you can use them for daytime. You can also build them up for nighttime. It looks a bit like the, um, the nude palettes from Urban Decay, kind of like that kind of uh, color range. I absolutely love this palette. I would highly recommend it. Next thing we have, oops. Next thing we have is 100% Pure Mascara. So as I said, all my makeup is either from 100% Pure or Lil Lolo. And this mascara is my Holy Grail. And it's the, um, Ultra Lengthening 100% Natural Mascara in Black Tea. I absolutely love it. I've been using it now for a few months and it's still like new. It lengthens my lashes, it thickens them. It doesn't rub off too much. Any kind of mascara rubs off just here because brow bones are quite pronounced so my lashes end up rubbing on it all day long and it's pretty hot here so I always have problems with mascara rubbing off on my brow bone. But it's definitely amazing and it doesn't irritate my eyes at all, which for me is the most important thing because every single mascara used to bother my eyes, but not this one. And it also smells really nice, actually. In fact, let me smell it now, just remember. Really nice, really fruity, actually. Not like a mascara at all. We're getting to the end here. Next product is a 100% pure blush. Blush pot, pot blush, pot blush. And it's in color... Hmm, it doesn't say, but I'll put, put it down in the description box as well. It looks like this. I think it's peachy actually. It's very natural. I love it. You need so little of it and it gives a really nice color, natural color in the cheeks. It's one of my favorite blushes of all times. The next product I have in there is 100% Pure. Again, surprise, surprise. And this one has a pure creamy long last liner and blackest. This is my most favorite eyeliner of all times. It's very, very pigmented. It stays on very well. It's super easy to apply because it glides so easily. I love it. I'll definitely repurchase if I ever run out of it, but I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. And the next thing I have in there is not a natural product, but it works really well. And so I'll keep it in there. And it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in soft brown. I love this product, it's actually really cool. But the truth is that I mostly use this end, which basically has a spooler to brush out my brows. And sometimes, if I'm not too lazy and I want to define my brows just a little bit, then I use the other end, and it's the most perfect brow defining product ever. And the color suits me so much. So I love this one. Even if it's not natural, I don't mind using it because at the end of the day, it's just the area of the eyebrows, not a huge amount of skin. It's not like a body lotion or something like that. So I don't mind, I don't obsess too much about using completely natural products because I think it's important to find a balance. And I think I found it. And then the last thing I found in there is the random 
just a very random button. I think it was for my denim skirt that I gave away to Charity and I forgot to add a button so I'll probably just have to throw it away now. Oh well, that's all I have in my makeup bag. It's all empty now. I hope that you found this interesting. I hope that you got some ideas of what products to try. I love them all when I go on holidays or something like that. That's pretty much all I take most of the time. I don't use any makeup anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference for me. Um, but if you're wondering what I use on a daily basis, then now you know. So thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this fun little video. And I'm definitely going to try to make more beauty related videos because I have a feeling that so many of you subscribe to my channel because of some of my beauty related videos that I made in the past. But then I kind of stopped making them because I started obsessing too much about health. But now I want to find a good balance and to make videos about everything and to make all of you happy. So let's hope that will continue. So thanks for watching this video. Thanks so much for sticking with me on my channel. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.